Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be reacting to Patrice O'Neill as safe sex men, women and children. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. That's your woman bro. How long you guys been together? 10 years. Wow. Good, good. How long? Two, two and a half, three years? Good. Y'all going, y'all going raw? <laughs> <laughs> you sticking raw? You do? You doing that? Okay, you putting, you putting raw? <laughs> Look, she punched him. You know what? Let me explain. She just hit him in his arm. I'm explaining something to you. The quicker that a man goes raw, it makes him look like, you know, go ahead, pimp. You, you got it in raw. <laughs> the quicker the woman goes raw, it makes you look, yeah, loose. It makes you look bad. Because <laughs> safe sex is a woman's responsibility. <laughs> Because men are trying to do it the first, second we meet. Look, my protection is just, I do this. <laughs> I have seen this bit. Just age, God. <laughs> Please don't let me get sick and die. I'm going to increase the volume. It is your responsibility. Yeah. When did y'all decide to, to do it? How long did it take, bro? How long did it take? It took a while. What's a while? What's a while of you? Hey, did you do the old bagless trick where you would just slowly, like, just try to put it in without... And you just hopefully she stop you that that old trick like okay all right it's getting close and I think I'm gonna I ain't got nothing on it yet and then it start getting real close she be like no she gonna let me oh, oh, oh. Hey, we both gonna die you let me put it in this is oh, brilliant we gonna die she let me go raw. <laughs> but we won't stop though. Oh, come on, stop me! <laughs> <laughs> and I can't use no condom no more. It's over. Condom days. I probably pull a trash bag on my shit. It just <laughs> like the wham wham music. It's just dead. I have to see if my balls can fit in there too. Like, all right, how's that, baby? <laughs> They're both in there, soft, but his balls and dick is in there. You okay? How's that feel? Filled up? You feel filled up? <laughs> well, I'm going to pause this for a second. Thing is, I've seen this bit, and I think I've only seen it once, and that was about two, three years ago. And that's why this all, even though I've seen it before, but it's almost like I'm watching it for the first time. I can see where the joke is leading up to, but it is so brilliant. I won't pause it again. I just wanted to confirm I've definitely seen this before. I'm going to show you something, ladies, right? I'm going to show you something. Here's why you should be responsible for safe sex. All right, how many guys in here, honestly? have used a dental dam before. <laughs> do you know what a dental dam is? You do? No one's ever used one before, huh? See? See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying about the condoms? Y'all just like, put that condom on. But you know what a dental dam is? It's a piece of a trash bag, right? <laughs> about as big as a napkin that you flip out and you lay it over a woman's vagina just in case, you know, it's, it's, it's poison. <laughs> <laughs> to protect us from imminent danger, but we don't use it because you'll be insulted 
<laughs> if I'm getting ready to have sex with you and I pull out a piece of a trash can <laughs> and you go, uh, what is that? Oh, I'm just gonna lay that over your vagina just in case it kills me. I'm sorry, what did you say? And we see that face or nothing. Forget it. Don't even <laughs> pretend like you didn't see that. I'd rather die. <laughs> insult my way out of some pussy I'd rather just get what you got <laughs> this is just so good <laughs> no offense but that's us we are not like you understand that we're good creatures special we are but we're just not like you we're not like we don't tell the truth and the reason is because we cannot <laughs> truth is uh, here's what truth is truth is a feeling that goes from your gut to your mouth instantaneously women get to be truthful you get to say and you say any kind of foul because you don't have an editing it just comes up I just two plus two is seven <laughs> just say it <laughs> I don't care and you be like it's 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 four <laughs> it ain't, it's whatever I want it to be <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk if I feel like it. And <laughs> men don't do that. We can't be honest with you. Man truth is cruel. If we told you the truth all the time, that's cruelty. Men men go from our gut and then it stops at the heart where we edit it. <laughs> We like edit life. what this was. What this was was going to be foul. <laughs> so I'm not going to say what this was. <laughs> and then it goes into the brain for further <laughs> examination, touch ups, you know, yeah. analysis. Mm, okay, all right, that sounds good. And then you say it. We don't just spew stuff out, man, because how we really feel about you, it, it just, it, it's just, it's not cool. <laughs> like this, how we feel about you you said oh, 10 well, years it, let me ask you a question honestly what's your daydream on how to kill her <laughs> here's where you messing up I'm gonna tell you where you messing up he goes he says to me hey man you trying to get me killed do you see how we can't tell the truth <laughs> The, the, the lie, right? That means that he thinks about it. See, did you understand what I'm You should say, I don't think about killing my woman. But you go, you trying to get me killed? I, if I tell you how I kill this bitch, she gonna kill me. <laughs> so you might as well get it out now. How do you kill her, man? Just so she know. How do you daydream about it? I don't. Say it. Spit it out. She's looking at it. It's all just, sweetie, I'm trying to let you understand what you're dealing with. I'm just saying the fact that you're alive means he didn't go through with it. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why, why guys think about killing their women. It's because we love you. <laughs> because I want you out of my life. But I don't want to hurt your feelings. feelings. <laughs> so I'd rather you so be good. dead than to break your heart. <laughs> so we think about how do we kill this and get away? How do you do it, bro? I'll tell you how I kill my girl. I'll put a pillow over her head and shoot her twice with a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, feathers come up and I look under the pillow and her eyes still be open and I close her eyes, I close her eyes. And I kiss her softly on her face, but she's dead. <laughs> you might as well spit it out because it'll help you now because it'll be, you can blame it on all the whole situation instead of later when she's like, so, you know. You Puerto Rican, right? Cuban? Oh, Lord. Uh, have mercy. Like, yeah. Whatever she's, whatever accent and whatever anger she does in Spanish, she's gonna be on you. She might as well just say it. Think about it. Is she gonna be on you? What is it? What are you? What are you? <laughs> so that was Patrice O'Neill, uh, safe sex, men and women, and what a 
brilliant brilliant bit I as I mentioned before uh, I've seen this clip before but it was such a long time ago I completely forgot how he brought up those two couples into the conversation about killing how to kill your woman like it was so funny man it was so funny I loved this so much and oh my god I <laughs> it was so good the whole bit is this is what comedians supposed to do because they're supposed to make you laugh question yourself and then goes like oh it's all right it's just a joke you know what I mean that was so good I loved it every bit of it it was great I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did if you did like subscribe share and leave a comment and I'll see you guys